Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, and normally I say BAM many times, but Bitcoin is not BAMing at the moment. Bitcoin is like falling down, uh, and I know a lot of you guys are freaking out, so I, I decided to make a like, short five-minute video to just show you why I'm not completely freaking out at the moment. Of course, I don't like Bitcoin to crash like this because of centralized exchanges like um, FTX that screw up this industry at the moment, uh, but I want to show you a chart that gives me always this pretty relaxed feeling, this feeling of, ah, don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right okay that chart i'm going to pop it onto my screen right now bam here this is the chart and i will put my face somewhere down below in the corner in a very small space over there and i'm going to show you why this chart always chills me out okay the first thing is we are looking at the monthly chart every candle you see on the screen is one month and we are just going to look at how Bitcoin has been moving in the last couple of years. That's since 2012. You all know that we have halvings. So we had a halving over here in November 2012. Then we had a halving over there in July 2016. Then we had a halving over here in um, July 2020. And this year again. Uh, and the next halving will be, of course, in uh, March 2024 every four years now there's a few things on this chart that i want um, you to see so to start every time from the halving to the top takes a certain amount of months the first time we're going to work from the top of the uh, screen to the bottom it took 12 months from the halving to the top the second time it took 17 months from the halving to the top you can see from this halving to the top over there, 17 months. Then, again from the halving to the top, this year took again 17 months. This is not a coincidence. This is a monthly chart. Every candle is a month. If we would look at that from the next halving in 2024, 17 months up front, then we would arrive in August 2025 for the next top. Now, let's take a little bit closer look at the chart. We're going to work from the top to the bottom. We see the orange and the blue line. Every time when this orange line crosses that blue line, so for example over here, that is the bottom. When it crosses the blue line, that is near the bottom. When it crossed the blue line, it shouldn't be the bottom, but we are falling lower than the bottom at the moment. So that's the first thing that is a little bit different in this bear market than the other bear markets. If we look a little bit more closely, we can see, for example, the red line, which is the 200 weekly moving average, and the purple line, which is the 300 weekly moving average. So the bear market over here in 2015 was on the 200 weekly moving average. Then we came all the way up to the bull run top, and again a bear market, and again we touched the 200 weekly moving average. Then again we had a bull run, bull run and now we fell to the 300 weekly moving average so it seems that we are falling in these bear markets to the next level of the weekly moving average which is the 300 weekly moving average the 400 would be at that green level 13,500 uh, let's say 30,600 at the moment so these lines of course they will go up and down very slowly because they are on the monthly and the weekly charts okay now, in the purple box I'm asking here, is the top August, September 25? Why am I asking this? Because we see that if we increase 17 tops from the, um, from the halving, it would be August 2025. But if we look at the bottom, to these um, beautiful arrows over there, we can see it even more. So, from this bottom over here, to the next top, that was the top of 2017, that took in total 1,065 days, 35 bars. Here, from the bottom, in 2018, to the top over there, in October 2021, that took, again, 1,035 days, 34 bars. So if we would consider this candle in November as the bottom candle, and it would take another 1,035 days, we would end in 
you can guess it already, yes, September. So we have August, September at the moment. Then look to the other arrows. Then we have the bottom to the halving. If you look at the bottom candle to the halving, that was 18 bars. Here, from the bottom, in 2018 to the halving, that was 17 bars. Here, if this is considered as the bottom, another 16 bars will take us to the halving. So that's 18 bars, 17 bars, maybe 16 bars to the halving, if this candle is being considered as the bottom. And then we look to the uh, most bottom um, indicators, and we can see there, from the bottom to a new autumn high, because we know now, okay, it can take certain amounts from top um, to the halving, and from the halving to the top, and it can take a certain amount from the bottom to the top, but how many months do you need to wait before these low prices of 20,000 that we are now, 17,000, will be higher again than the all-time high of 70,000? The all-time high was exactly in this candle over here, yes. So how long will it take to go above that uh, 69, let's say 70,000? If we look to the previous runs from the bottom, to the next all-time high took 27 bars. In the bull run and the bear market from 2018 to the next all-time high took 24 bars. So let's say it will take another 24 bars if this is considered as the bottom candle to a new all-time high. We will see a new all-time high around November 24. If it is 27 bars, 24 bars, and it is a few months less, so let's say three months less, that we would go to 21 bars, then we would arrive in August 24. And yes, I know it is all uh, based on hope here. I mean, yes, I all know it is based on uh, numbers from the past, and they are not a security for the future, a guarantee for the future. But if we look at the movements of Bitcoins, then in my opinion, these numbers that we are seeing now, 17k, maybe all the way to 14k, would be numbers to be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. Because there will be a new top. And these cycles that they will be running. That was a, a bam bam alert, guys. The bam bam indicator gives you alerts um, when to buy and sell on different time frames. But do you understand what I'm showing you guys? We have tops, we have bottoms, and there is moments you should sell, and there is moments you should be buying. This is not a moment to sell. In my opinion, this is really a moment to buy. So, I hope you really enjoyed this short video about one chart. Um, if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about this chart? Do you really think Bitcoin is going to crash, bam, all the way back to 9K? Or do you believe we are just ending the bear market, bottoming out a little bit, going sideways, creating a new bull run so that all these candles will be in the charts again after that amount of months that I just shared with you in the chart. Now, let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again from, still from Portugal. Yes. And